Our midweek Lenten services are now over as we turn to Holy Week. I hope that you have taken the opportunity to read through the 40-day devotional book, Why Pray, by Dr. John DeVries. We, as in my family, we read through this book last Lenten season at our home and found it to be quite compelling. This, along with another book entitled The Spiritually Vibrant Home, produced by the Lutheran Hour Ministries in partnership with the Barna Research Group, really inspired us and to add to our regular prayer to our devotional life as a family. This second book of Spiritually Vibrant Homes will be offered as a study in the fall at Ascension. These books and whatever other resources that will be offered to the congregation all have the same goal in mind, and that is to increase our depth and our knowledge of God's Word and add to our practice of the faith. The Holy Spirit uses these resources to challenge and equip us for ever-increasing reliance and faith in Jesus. So I want to challenge you and encourage every home in our congregation to commit to praying every day as a home group. The special services during Lent and Holy Week also have this same goal in mind. I hope that you will all take advantage and attend either the mask required services or the regular services that are being offered on Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. A large percentage of each of the four Gospels centers around the events of the last week of Jesus' life. Much of this account is either read or presented in some way in worship this coming week. And how wonderful that we will be able to gather for public worship this year. And for those who would rather worship online, we also have the live stream that will be available for each of the services. And I would also like to take a moment to address the lifting of the COVID restrictions in Sedgwick County. We will still be offering a mask required service at 5 p.m. on Monday, Thursday and Good Friday. And the 7 a.m. Easter Sunday service will also be a mask required service. And then on May 9th, June 6th, July 11th, a mask required service with Holy Communion will be offered. With the general public, though, being offered the COVID vaccine, perhaps these services will become obsolete before the end of July, but they are on the calendar and they will be offered as need and as the need remains. One of the ministries that we support at Ascension is the Embrace Ministry that offers women's health services to those who are considering an abortion. They offer sonograms so that mom and dad can see the unborn child. This, along with basic services to help the mom and family, have been used by God to preserve the life of the child and bring the family into a relationship with Jesus. I regularly receive emails from the director, Tim Quiggle, with prayer requests, and it's been a privilege to be a spiritual support um, in this life-affirming, Jesus-centered ministry that seeks to care for mom, dad, and baby. On Mother's Day, we receive baby bottles from Embrace and then return them filled with spare change on Father's Day. I will end this message with a short video from Embrace. The cross is the reason we do what we do. 2,000 years ago, a baby changed the world. Born to a teenager, his beginnings were humble but his life had a purpose that touched eternity. My eternity. Your eternity. Their eternity. He healed the sick, served the marginalized, loved the unlovable, forgave, showed mercy, and spoke truth. Easter is why we serve each day, offering hope and help proclaiming life for the little ones and a new life for their moms and dads. Because He came that we may have life and have life everlasting.